It's my pleasure to welcome you to the most sophisticated, beautiful, and intricate science facilities in the entire world. I'll be your guide today. You can call me Sergeant Corey. I can't actually tell you what my real name is for confidential reasons, but I always thought Corey was a nice name. Uh, anyway, we've got a lot of work to do. I'm sure you've already been informed. A giant chicken? Lots of death? Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty bad problem. But I have faith in us. We're gonna make a great team. I'm tracking your location, so I'll always know where you are. I'm here to help. Now, enjoy the glamour while you still can. You'll be heading deep into this facility, and I promise you, this is the best that it'll look. All right, our first destination is actually below us. So, uh, find a way to get there. Maybe through a vent? Good luck. Hey, I just want to tell you, you got to be very careful here. You really shouldn't underestimate this thing. If you do see the chicken, just run. Try to hide somewhere where he can't reach you. You saw it? Uh, be very careful. Make sure you don't let it catch you, uh, obviously. Um, listen, I know this might seem annoying, but there are three levers down here that you'll need to pull. They'll open the door that's gonna let you proceed. Now, I understand how redundant that may seem, but it's all in the name of security. All right, good luck. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful down there. We just moved Sebastian into the red cell while work continues downstairs. I know he isn't really a human, but the things they do to him, they're horrible. It's like growing up in prison, but worse. He's got no friends, no freedoms. I honestly don't know why Eric is doing all of this to him. At least he has an education, but even then, I think it's just for the sake of testing. 
So what if he's genetically modified? A human's a human, right? All right, you made it. Nice job. We're getting closer. Just keep going.
According to my map, the exit to this area is locked and it can't be opened from your current location. Looks like you'll need to get up there where that blue light is. There should be an elevator system that can help you. You aren't who I thought you were, but that doesn't mean you're different. 
What exactly are your intentions? Are you lost? Are you looking for a way out? Or are you here to hurt me? You wouldn't want to hurt me, right? <laughs> I want you to stay away. And I really don't think you understand what's going on here. I was able to break free and escape. None of you humans were strong enough to stop me. Others weren't so lucky. They weren't strong enough. But I saved them. And I killed everyone that got in my way. And I won't stop at you. But for now, I'll give you a chance. Just open that door, and I'll give you your freedom. Now, promise me that you'll leave. Got that? doing? Don't kill yourself yet. Uh, I mean, uh, wait. Wait a minute. How, how did you get here? From where you were, it should be impossible to... This is really strange. Y you shouldn't be down here. We could work with this. Just hang tight. Oh, and if you find any sort of tape recorder, please... Do not play it. There's a lot of confidential information down here. I don't mean to scare you. You and I, we are not different. My name is Sebastian. That's what they've always called me. You. I've been following you. I've been listening. I know that you don't work here. You are oblivious to what's really going on. I've heard your radio. That voice. I know him. He's not who you think he is. His name is Eric. He created this place. He's the one that has caused us this pain. Eric is evil. He is a monster. And he wants to cause more pain. You and I, we can stop him. Otherwise, he is going to kill us, both of us. Eric's using you, and he'll kill you. You're a loose end. You've seen too much. And the chicken. He wants the chicken. That's why he sent you 
right? The chicken's name is Cooper. I doubt he told you that. When Cooper broke out, he saved me. And now, Eric wants to capture him again. He wants to cause more pain. I've got a plan. I'll save us. You just need to lure him down here. Just follow his instructions. I'll save you. Okay, so I figured it out. This place has gas pipes running behind the walls. If we pump sleeping gas into the pipes, we can put the chicken to sleep without damaging it. And of course, you would also fall asleep, but I'd just wake you up plain and simple. At this point, that seems to be our only option. So you'll need to let the gas into the pipes first, then you'll need to release the gas. Simple enough. If this is the last time we speak, before I wake you up, of course, then I'll just say it's been a pleasure. Per Eric's instructions, we must execute the 43 newly delivered pigs. He says they aren't pure enough, or something. Order more. He's also requesting that we produce more rat embryos of uh, type 16. Also, just a reminder to perform the usual nightly cleaning routine. You forgot last time. Clean the bloodied machinery, sweep the floors, and uh, dust off the pones and deposit them in the bag. Oh, and uh, that Sebastian kid, he's not affected by the sleeping gas. Eric isn't happy. Find something stronger. Oh, one last thing. Those pigs we need to reorder? Eric says he wants exactly 98 pigs. Exactly 98. Not 100. <laughs> 98. Got that? We'll be terminated if the count is off by one. <laughs> Eric's words, not mine.
Yes, thank you, thank you. You have no idea how much this means for the lab. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I never actually learned your name. Not that I needed to, <laughs> or even wanted to. You did well as an intern, and I'm sorry it had to end this way. Your sacrifice is in the name of science. What? Eric. How, how did you... It's over, Eric. It's over. Please, don't. Please! <laughs> You were never worthy of forgiveness. And for you, I'm so sorry. This world didn't deserve you. And you deserved so much more. You're safe. I killed Eric. He's gone. He can't hurt us anymore. Cooper's also gone. It's better this way. He was filled with too much pain and anger. He was never going to return to normal. He deserves peace. For the first time ever, I am free. You and I, we share something special. We are human. I am human. I Are you regretful?
dedication to science. Warning, this facility is currently under lockdown. Employees are expected to shelter in place. All exits are locked until further notice. Please contact facility authorities for more information. An error has been detected in the elevator system. Contacting support teams. Take action as soon as possible. Just out of reach. Maybe you'll do it. No. Maybe another day. Dr. Brand? Another ghost? Please, just leave me alone. I'm scared. I'm scared. This is Dan Brand of Sector 6. I'm hurt and bleeding. Bad stomach wound. Uh, I got attacked after getting separated from John and Charlie. And now I'm here. Oh, and it's not looking good. The radio's dead and uh, I'm getting lightheaded. Uh, Sophia, if you're somehow listening to this, I just... Please, know that I love you. If I know things could have been better, I just wish I'd realized it sooner. Once this is all over, we'll see each other again. We'll run far from this place, and we'll be free. Both of us, under the stars. I promise. Just wish I had another chance.
Attention all employees of Goober Laboratories. My friends, it's time to give up. We had a good run, but not all good things are meant to last. Thank you for your relentless dedication to science. Thank you and good night. I can't say you deserve this, but maybe you do. You've made it further than any of your colleagues, so I congratulate you. But that doesn't mean you've won. Not yet. You're free to go. Are you regretful, scientist? Regretful of the experiments? Regretful of my escape? Or something else entirely? Do you wish you could go back? Make different decisions? <laughs> All you humans are the same. It's too late for that now. However, You've been given a gift. You are the only survivor. The only one with a second chance. Never forget that. You and I, we share something special. We are alive. And many are not. Now run.